How's it going everybody? Ben from Bunch of Pokemon here and in this video I'm going to be opening this right here, this Pokemon 151 booster bundle. And I've already opened the ETB on Thursday and this is just a little bit of extra. You know, because, you know, I couldn't stay away from Pokemon 151. Probably won't, probably will open a, a lot more in the near future, but for now, this is what we have to deal with. I have, I have heard from a lot of people, though, that apparently this might be the best product to open. Um, we'll see if that is true. Just as a little spoiler, my opening from, from the ETB wasn't really that all successful, all that successful. Um, we still pulled some nice cards, just not the cards that I was hoping for, but here we go. Six more chances to pull something really good. Maybe even a, a demigod pack, as, as it's being named by the community at the moment. That would be insane. But as I've said in, in my ETB video, any SIR you can pull out of here is gonna be amazing. Because there is no bad SIR in here, no, no bad special illustration here. They're all bangers. Cycling Road. We have a Scyther. We have a Pidgeot. We have a Shelter. And we have a Zapdos Full Art. Okay. Nice, we're starting it off strong. And a Holographic Basic Energy. And here, of course, is the Code Card. Enjoy. Starting it off with a banger. Hopefully it doesn't end up being like the ETB, by which I mean hopefully we don't pull everything in the first booster and then there's nothing in these other ones. Um, we'll see. We we shall see. So I have no recollection of- oh, that pack really, really doesn't want to open. I have no recollection of what the, the illustration rares are that are actually in here. Um, I do know there's of course the, the three starters, that's for sure. The Charmander, the Charmeleon, and then so on and so forth. There's also, I've pulled the, the Caterpie. And there's also, I think, um, whatchamacallit? I've forgotten the name. Kabutops? That's not the one. That's just what we pulled here is the code card. It's the, the pre-evolution of Poliwrath. Poliwhirl? That's the one. That also looks pretty cool. And there's a bunch more that I just can't remember right now. But this this set is, is amazing. I've said it in my, in my first video. This is this is an amazing set, and I'm I'm hoping that I can open a lot more of this. This is just gonna be a short opening. You know, not a whole lot of booster booster packs in here. And next week's video is gonna be um hopefully a CGC return. They have shipped from the US. They are bound to be delivered to the Munich office on um on Monday, and it usually only takes like a day or two until they ship it. So I should get them at the latest on, on Thursday, I think. So I hope that, that next week's video on, on Saturday will be the, the CGC return. And then afterwards, probably more Pokemon 151, honestly. We're getting close to the release date of the of the Ultra Premium collection as well, which I'm really hyped about. I got a pre-order in with one of my trusted dealers, I just want to say, with one of my trusted... Um, um, by or sellers. I usually sell from them and they always appear on or always get them in time. On time of the release usually, so I'm I'm really, really curious to see if this is actually true for, for the Ultra Premium Collection as well. Um, I've seen sales on Amazon as well, so it's just the same as the, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, it feels like. These are being printed to oblivion. And depending on how many packs are in here, we go Coke cart, almost threw that away. Um, and depending on how many carts are in there, or how many booster packs, that might potentially be the best, um, the best thing to buy in in 2023. At least if you're starting out, or even if you're a long time collector. Because so many packs, so many chances. Yo, Golem EX, okay. At least we got something else in here. We have one booster pack left. Let's see if we can make it big. With this last booster pack right here, Pokemon 151. As I said, I've got I've got more planned, a whole bunch of Pokemon 151. Also have some some Japanese booster box opening openings coming up. Of course, my my clay burst booster box has been shipped for a long time. It's, it's just waiting in my in my Tenso um, mailbox, I suppose. I'm just waiting for my 
for my Pokemon 151 booster box to ship from Pokemon Center Japan. It's been marked. Um, preparing for shipping. Yo, Nido King. I forgot about this one. I pulled this in Japanese as well. Okay. Hey, and another holographic energy. I'm in love with these holographic energies. I like the the old school Cosmo holofoil pattern of these. Nice, okay. Machamp at the end there as the rare. Nice, okay. I have two Nido Kings now. I'm not I'm not too mad about that. That's actually a great card. See, that's that's one of the cards that I've forgotten I've pulled before, but yeah. That was just one booster bundle. Um, as I've said, there's going to be more Pokemon 151 coming. And then, of course, some Japanese booster box openings. But anyways, if you enjoyed this short little video right here, then give this video a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. And right here is the subscribe button. You should click this one first, and then you should click this one. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.